Now I'm with uh, Nick Donnelly who is the CEO of the Warford Chamber of Commerce and also the coordinator of the Purple Flag. Nick, could you explain to our viewers please exactly what is the Purple Flag and what does it mean to businesses in Waterford? Well, first of all, uh, Purple Flag is an accreditation and it's very, very much focused around uh, the evening and nighttime economy. So essentially, uh, since its introduction and we, we got our accreditation a number of years ago here in Waterford and we have a designated purple flag zone, what we've been focused on is uh, creating a greater vibrancy in the zone, uh, making sure that it's a safe area, uh, both in the evening and night time, and that essentially, as a zone, it is well managed. Um, but if I was to single out uh, what it's mostly about, it's just to create that greater vibrancy and that the businesses in the zone and the stakeholders involved with promoting and uh, creating a, a purple flag uh, momentum, that they are working together. So it's as much about collaboration and also vibrancy. So really it is, is a matter of getting these businesses all to pull together, work together, think together, act together. And, and, and what you want to do is create a standard. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a brand, if you like. So that if, if you're a visitor and you're coming, uh, say, to Waterford, and you look, look at what Waterford has to offer, then Purple Flag is part of that offering. And it's, it's about creating uh, a sense of uh, an area that's vibrant, uh, that there's a range of different things to do. So it's not just focused on, for example, uh, a drink environment. It's very much uh, focused on the range of what's, what's an offer here, so be it theatre, uh, be it uh, restaurants, or, or cafes, or pubs, or clubs, and so on. So it's, it's, it's ensuring that anybody that comes to Waterford knows that there is a wide range uh, of offering here, and that it's a vibrant location, it's safe, and it's well managed. We've seen a lot of positivity over the last couple of weeks in terms of investment in, in uh, the city, and with the, the cover now going over the Apple market it's even more important now than ever that people put together. Well, absolutely. And, and you know, uh, people now expect st standards. Uh, they want uh, to see that when they come to a location that they're not disappointed because if they are disappointed, they won't come back. Yeah. So what, and, and this obviously is not just about visitors, but particularly around visitors, when they come to Waterford, we want to make sure that their experience is a really positive experience and that they come back to Waterford uh, time and time again and they'll spread the good word about what Waterford has to offer. Great. It all sounds very positive. The very best of luck and we'll talk to you again, I'm sure. Thank you very much, Nick. Thanks, Ronnie. Thank you. The Purple Flag, what does this mean for you, for the city? Uh, for me, I think the Purple Flag is a good example of the cohesiveness and the joint up thinking that we can have uh, within the council, within the business community uh, and within the actual community itself, living and working in Waterford. You know, it's not about us being perfect, it's not about us having everything to offer in terms of a nightlife or entertainment uh, venue, but it's about actually working towards that and having the joint up thinking and uh, the, the proper positive approach to ensuring that people see Waterford as a viable option for their nightlife entertainment. So having this accreditation, you know, it's, it's more than just saying that look this is a good place and let's leave it now and uh, we've done everything it's about actually building on it and making it better and better for the future as you well know over the last couple of weeks there's been a lot of positive energy and a lot of positive news coming towards the city but with the investment uh, of the north wharf and also with the greenway which you're present at and now the um, development up on the Apple Market with the roof going up there as well. So it's all very, very positive at the moment for the city. Yeah, it's been a hugely positive week for Waterford. And I think, you know, we've had a, enough of our dark weeks in Waterford. We've had our tough share. And it's, but that's that's fact that Waterford didn't do as good as it did uh, as other countries or other, or other cities did uh, with the recession. Uh, we suffered a lot more. We still have high un unemployment rates. We still have a lot of challenges. But we actually have a bit of positivity going around the city now with, uh, I suppose, 300 million investment uh, with the Apple Market coming together. A lot of people said, you know, that, that will never happen. And it's, it's there in front of people's eyes now to see. Uh, and like you said, Roddy, the opening of the Greenway is well another magnificent asset that we now have in our city and county, which two or three years ago we did not have uh, as perfect as we do have it now. So what would people have a lot to be proud of in the last few weeks? Mayor Boyce, thank you very much for your time. Um, you're welcome. Now I'm with uh, Sinead McDonough, who is the manager of the Casbar in the city centre. Sinead, the purple flag, what does that mean for you as a business person and indeed for some place like the Casbar? For us, it um, means a lot for business, for promoting 
Waterford City, including the Casbar as a safe place to go out at night time and a kind of purple flag gives an opportunity of bringing all similar businesses together where we're all saying as a group Waterford is a good place to go out at night, the nightlife is good and it's safe. Now you're another one of the businesses who are directly affected by the new canopy that's going in. Yep. How do you see that in the future? We're really excited about it. We're looking forward to it and I think it will definitely bring a lot of extra business to Waterford and a lot of extra people to our end of the town. And it is, it's going to be um, a real hub and a hub for late night entertainment as well. Um, so we're very, very positive about it. Great. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Flash Gordon, you haven't got the, the suit on you? No, not yet. No. Uh, what does the purple flag mean to you? Uh, the purple flag is, is all about a, a vibrant and safe city centre in Waterford. Um, it kicked off about three years ago. Uh, all the pubs and clubs, Gardaí, HSE, City Council are working together um, to create a management structure um, to make the, the city a more fun place to go out in, um, more cost effective, uh, non-alcoholic drinks, um, entertainment, early evening for kids, families, that kind of thing, and then late night uh, bands, uh, venues, uh, DJs, anything to, to go out in. Not necessarily having to, to drink alcohol, so a lot of us are putting on coffees, cappuccinos late night, non-alcoholic drinks, and just making sure people have a good night out no matter what they're looking for. How have Water have been doing up to this point? Uh, three or four years ago, not so well. But with all the stakeholders working together, um, statistically, um, it's a lot safer city. 32% safer than three years ago. Um, so I think it's, it's more vibrant. Uh, there's more of a choice. Uh, like we've David Max with an award-winning gin bar, Revolution with an award-winning whiskey bar, craft beer, uh, Shorts is a late-night music venue, uh, nightclubs. So there's a good choice and variety of what to do. And it's got to get better, hasn't it, with the new canopy that's going up there at the moment. That has to, to, to be something good and positive that's happening in the area. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, John Street is undergoing a three and a half million quid refurb. Uh, Ireland's first roofed street and there'll be a lovely finish to the street. It'll be um, a good interactive space, especially for festivals, for evening music, uh, people to, there'll be a lot of outside seating. So for people to gather, sit, relax, you know, enjoy the last wine, coffee, something to eat. Great. Thanks a million for your time. You're very welcome.